want to get out of the house. We're going to do some Christmas shopping today. And I figured I'd just let you guys sit here and watch me get ready while I um, get ready. You guys are going to hear me sniff all throughout this thing. I'm just going to use my Gerard Cosmetics. <laughs> makes my makeup last longer and makes it look better. I don't know. Benefit Professional Matte Rescue Primer today. I feel like my face really needs some help today. I'm gonna use some color correctors. This is the one by Wet n Wild, the correcting palette. This is actually like really good stuff to me, in my opinion. I'm gonna use some of this purple too, cause Mama's already got them dark circles <laughs> under my eyeballs. I'm seriously so over filling my brows. All right, so I could really care less if these brows are even. This one looks darker than this one. I don't even care. I'm done. All right, so foundation. What shall I put on my face today? <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this 3M1 CoverGirl Atlas Stay, whatever. I think I'm gonna mix it with my Too Faced board this way. Just cause I just wanna be extra today. But I want to be like super full coverage because I just feel like I've been looking a mess. Like I'm in too full coverage. You guys know that's why I don't have any friends, right? Because I'm weird. But I'm okay with that. It's better that way. If there's one thing that I want you guys to learn from me. It's blend your freaking neck. Come on, ladies. Like, how do you not see that? Or blend, just do this. Just get the double chin, okay? Like, it, it, we're gonna see it. If it's not hidden, it's still there. You got a neck to cover. I'm just gonna put a tad bit more on because these big ass pimples. <sighs> this pimple, you're just gonna have to look at it because it's not going nowhere. It's like, try me. Try me. No, we going out shopping together. You ain't hiding me. I hope you guys all had a lovely Thanksgiving, because I know I did. We went to three different houses, and that was a mistake. Food was great, but that was a mistake. I was so freaking miserable. Miserable dog hair where is it I see it or I feel it but I can't seriously like I've ever mixed those two foundations together before but I like it all right so I'm gonna try not to use my Maybelline fit me concealer today so let me see we got age rewind I really love the LA girl pro stuff I'm gonna use that I haven't used that in a while I think I'm in natural. It works really good and it's, I actually usually use this for under my brows, like when I want that real sharp, clean cut look. And I can, there's a piece of hair that I can't find again. I don't know where it's at. Uh. I'm kind of going overboard today. You guys, I just feel like I needed it. Okay, leave me alone. All right. I think I'm gonna mix it. I just feel like mixing stuff today. I'm gonna go cross-eyed. I feel like, oh, that actually worked. There's another tip. See, you just learn all kinds of new stuff. You know one thing? I'm like looking out my window. I'm already over this cold weather. I feel like I'm breathing so hard right now, like I'm like 300 pounds. I can't breathe. I don't know if mixing those two was a good thing or a bad thing. Blend. Blending is key, ladies. Blend. It's what makes your makeup look good. Also, one thing that I do when I put my makeup on, I, pre <coughs> I press it into my skin. I swear it has like a different effect on my makeup and how it looks on my face. That's just me. I don't know. I could be crazy, but 
especially when using like a beauty blender or this sponge this is my real technique one I just press it into the areas where I like have the most like where my pores are the largest I just press it into my skin I just feel like it makes it last longer and it looks better and it just helps me get through the day okay you guys already know what's next I'm about to bake my face I'm actually pressing under there too just using what's left to do my chin and forehead if you've never used this stuff before let me warn you the smell is really strong it's not bad or anything it just kind of smells like grandma's perfume or something like not the cool grandma but like great grandma I think I'm gonna cut the sides of my face I don't hardly ever do that as much anymore but like I said I'm being extra so I'm just gonna do it just do it just do it just bring it back I need those chiseled cheeks Is there any more face left to set, Willie? I don't think so. And that. Dude, these pimples. My face is like, really? You complain about breaking out, but then you want to kick it up with makeup. Well, I have insecurities, okay? Spray some Fix Plus on my face, because now I feel like I'm starting to look cakey. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Vice palette today. I'm just gonna use this whole thing for my whole look. All right, I'm gonna dip into Framed first. This is like nude color. I'm gonna go into this color called Bitter. It's like this burnt orange color. I'm just kind of like messily putting this on my crease and lid area. Now, I'm going to go into Beat Down. It's like this purple color. I usually don't go, I usually don't take shimmery shades into my crease, but I don't care today. I haven't even used a new brush yet. That's how lazy I am. I'm really sure how I feel about this, but oh well. I'm going to use 1985, this color. I don't care. Not really sure how this is going to turn out, but oh well. Back into this bitten color just to kind of blend out up here so it doesn't look too harsh. I just feel like this just got real dramatic for no reason. <laughs> I'm just going to put the same colors on my lower lash line. I want to put some green on here. I'm going to do the grasshopper color right here. Now I feel like I need a color on my lid and I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to do Arctic. This color right here. Ooh. I look so like space cadet right now. I'm just going to go back into the beat down color just to blend these two colors together a little bit better. I'm kind of liking this. I don't do a lot with like greens and blues too much. I feel like I need something in my inner corner. I'm going to spray it with my Fix Plus. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. You know what? I'm going to put this Ofra press powder oil control into my eye first because it's like completely white and then highlighter on top for like a white eyeshadow I'm kind of overboard I'm gonna go overboard today let's do Mary Lou Mary Luminizer looks like this it's pretty white if not I'll just pack another one on there I'll pop a little bit of this right above or right where my brow bone is. The thing that I'm overdoing is eyeliner. But I went ahead and just popped some eyeliner on. 
Another thing that I really dislike is eyeliner because it never comes out the same. Some eyeliner in my lower lash line, since this is a pretty bold look, why not? This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. This stuff is like the best if you don't want your black eyeliner on your lower lash line to move. I use this like on all my clients because it never moves, I swear. And it's so weird because it's gel. But if you guys have any that you know of that stay on your lower lash line really good, let me know. <sighs> I could have set that liner with a little bit of black eyeshadow. I'm not being neat about this at all. I really don't even feel like dealing with fake eyelashes today. I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up my first. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Bikini Contest one with this fluffy brush. Get that forehead because you guys already know it's humongous. I'm going to use a little bit more precise brush like this. And contour, I'm going to use this other wet and one-on-one, -on -one, just a stark shade. And just deepen that up just a little bit. Right now my favorite part. I'm going to highlight the crap out of my face. Because that's what I do best. <laughs> Where's my highlighter brush? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to just go back into the Mary Luminizer. And just kind of matches the inner corner highlight that we did. Kind of that whitish toned highlight. Yes, boo. Look at that. Bam. I'm so stupid. I'm not going to do any blush today because this look is already like crazy, so... Um, like I'm going to put another highlight on top of it. Is that too much? <laughs> Is that a real question? <laughs> I'm going to put some MAC Soft and Gentle on top of the Mary Luminizer. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just dripping in the gold. I don't think I'm doing fake lashes today. I just don't really want to deal with them. I'm just gonna try to rock my own. And I know a lot of people like struggle with them like I do, trust me. So I'm just gonna mascara up these boys to death. This is by the way my favorite. I know you guys are over this video already. You're like okay are you done? Um lipstick. We're about to be done I promise. I just wanted to use this because I haven't actually like went out with it on. And this is the NYX Liquid Suede um, Cream Lipstick. And this one's in the color Stone Fox. I did post a picture with this on when I first bought it. And I really liked it. And I'm out of breath. AF. I don't know you guys. What do you think? Was it too much? Let's just, just look at me. I don't know. It's very bold, like if I was going to the club or something, but I'm going to the mall. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I'm about to just spray it one more time with my Gerard Cosmetics Slight All Day Setting Spray. I asked Dustin, I was like, you sure you want to walk around with me like this in public? He's like, oh, it's not that bad. So I'm just going to do it, whatever. I'll just advertise my art. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can continue to hang with me. Um, I'm on all social media. I have all that listed down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video. If you like these kind of chat, chitty chat kind of videos. And yeah, have a good day. See you later. Oh, don't forget. I didn't forget. Tomorrow I'm going to try to upload my video of me doing all my makeup with my left hand. 
be ready because <laughs> it's gonna be scary i already know bye guys